Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to record RetroArch. Now, I'm doing this in a, in a virtual machine because I'm recording the recording, so I have to do it twice. So it may look a little weird, but hopefully the content will come across. So you need to install RetroArch, obviously, if you don't have that already. You also need to install Simple Screen Recorder. Once you have Simple Screen Recorder installed, open it up, and we're going to configure everything. So to start off, set it to MP4, go to Codec, make sure it's H.264, go to Constant Rate, set it to like 2, Audio Codec, AAC. Now from here we go to the next page, and we can start recording. So we click the start recording button, it should start recording. Now we can load our ROM from our game. We're gonna do just a random game. Now, as it's an NES game, you can see that it's kind of small, but the concept works. And if I maximize it like so, I don't think I can full screen it in RetroArch, but we are recording the gameplay. So this is a rudimentary way you can record your favorite ROM gameplay there's also a built-in, uh, I'm pretty sure there's a built-in recorder for RetroArch, but it's not very good. And if you look at Simple Screen Recorder, we can see that we're getting a constant rate of 30 frames per second. Now, you can change the frame rate to 60 frames. I didn't go over that because this is an a virtual machine and I need to make sure that it doesn't crash because it only has 256 megabytes of video RAM. And you can see that by how the ROM emulator is it's not chugging along, but it, it, it doesn't look as smooth, smooth as it could be. But again, that's how you record it once you're done recording. And we're not going to do any gameplay because I don't have a configure, uh, controller configured, but you get the idea. It's recorded. Now I can click Save Recording. And uh, I can go to my, I think it's in Videos in here. And we can see our video recording of the ROM. And we see it looks pretty nice. We're going to maximize it here. And uh, that is how you record RetroArch gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you think that you need more guidance on this, please check out the article I wrote. It goes over a lot of different stuff. But again, this is just how you can record your RetroArch gameplay. I highly recommend going about it this way other recording systems aren't really that great. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.